please. Come in. Hi, Vanessa. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh my oh, God. God. Well, Hello, it's very nice to meet you. Thank you so much. I'm taking your seat though. No, no. Wow. Mordecai. Mordecai. Charlie Mordecai. Bit of a moron, actually. Oh. What kind of trouble is Charlie Mordecai in right now? What kind of trouble is he in? Well, trouble of his own making because you can't be such a coward all the time. Um, which is one thing I love about the character. He's not, um, he's, he's an anti-hero rather than, uh, he, he thinks he's terribly heroic, but he's, he's actually quite a coward. He thinks he's a very good fencer, he's terrible. Um, <laughs> he consistently uh, overestimates his own talents and abilities, which um, I think makes him very funny. How did you find the perfect beard for him and for Johnny Depp? Um, it was, you know, we started trading pictures back and forth, and um, um, we try, you know, there's a there's a lot of outrageous mustaches throughout history, and uh, it was funny, you know, he had sort of sketched uh, one that he had in his mind, and I had come across a <clears throat> a photograph of, uh, I think he was an an, an Austrian general or, or archduke of, uh, you know, around 1910. Uh, who had a mustache very much like the one we settled on, a little smaller, a little more curl, but um, you know we both. So we were both drawn to the same the same uh, kind of mustache. That was part of the fun. Was should we go with the Joseph Stalin? Should we go with the Tom Selleck? Should we go with the Terry Thomas? Um, and uh, that's what we came up with. You are not wearing a beard right now. Did you think about it during the movie? No, I had my facial hair stages uh, <laughs> in in my twenties. I had a beard. Uh, because I was in my 20s. And uh, then in the mid-90s, I had a goatee because everyone had a goatee. We all had to do that. <laughs> um, and, uh, but I, I like, I prefer clean shaven. It's also very nice, my wife, I think, appreciates clean shaven <laughs> because there's, then she doesn't get whiskers up her nose. There was a beautiful quote in this movie. Um, it said, um, the truth is, is nice, but um, a rumor is priceless. What do you think about that? How do you feel about it? Oh, I love that line. Yeah, that, that because the truth is certain. So you certainly know what something is worth um, when you know exactly what it is. Rumors are exciting because they involve your imagination. And uh, I think in the, in the world of art uh, and commerce, uh, rumors are much more valuable than certainty. Mm -hmm. Jock is my manservant and handles all of our most pressing affairs. Well done, Jock. There was a, a screening of a cut of the film, and Paul came with his uh, son, who I think is 11. And um, I, was, I was sitting near them, and I, I could hear his son laughing and finding it all very funny. And afterwards, I said, you know, you just... You were the ultimate superhero in that movie to your kid. You know, you never get hurt. You're always brave. You're always there, and you get all the women. There's, you know, from an 11 year old boy's point of view, that's pretty appealing. What is in it for me, as they say? Do it for Queen and Country. No. All right, Queen and Country, travel and living expenses, reasonable overhead. Done. You worked with Johnny Depp um, in 2004. In the, on the secret window. Mm -hmm. um, how would you say, did he change as an actor and a person in the last 10 years? I don't think so. I think that uh, certainly his approach to things is the same, which is he sees the character and becomes it. And I think if he doesn't see it, he won't do it. Um, and that has, that has not changed. And I, I think the, the first moment he called me uh, on this The movie and said, "Take a look at these books and this script. I think you'll 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 like it. And I know how to play this guy. I know this guy. Um, and uh, I think when you know one of the greatest actors of our generation said, tells you he knows how to play somebody, you're, you're smart if you listen. And uh, it, it's true. He had him. He had internalized this character to such a degree that it was it was incredible. But it was the same on Secret Window. You know, I'm." Um, When you're directing Johnny, you are 
you're you're really just you're driving a Ferrari and the car actually knows how to drive itself just fine thank you very much your responsibility is not to make any sudden moves on the wheel um, uh, don't crash it it's uh, you know and uh, you're you're really presiding over a great performance and doing what you can to throw in some ideas and see if they help out or not thank you so much it's oh, really sure. nice to talk thank to you. you thank you nice talking to you thank you